The Indiana Department of Education has launched a program to help high schoolers earn while they learn. Fox 59's Hannah Adamson breaks down how the program works and how many students could get this help. The Career Scholarship Account Program would give eligible 10th through 12th grade students $5,000 for learning opportunities outside the classroom. Now students must be enrolled in an approved apprenticeship, applied learning or work-based learning program. Advocates say this would help disadvantaged students break down barriers that are often overlooked. But some policy experts and students say some fine-tuning of this program is still needed. I was at Major Health Partners in Shelbyville, um, and I did my internship there through Blue River um, Career Center in Shelbyville. Lorianne Beckner says during her senior year internship, she had to pay for transportation costs, something the newly launched Career Scholarship Account Program would help cover. I think like the scholarship part of it's great. The chair of the House Education Committee says the program has 1,000 available spots. It's uh, just to start. I think that you could see you know, 30,000 kids in the state. The Indiana Chamber of Commerce says the program gives kids more flexibility in creating a career path. There are certain expenses that aren't really covered, generally speaking, in the existing funding vehicles, things like transportation, things like, you know, safety equipment, tools, um, taking uh, the exams associated with some of these certifications. However, Beer says he hopes more clarity will be given in terms of what credentials these CSA accounts would go towards and which industries would benefit the most. These are limited dollars, and so let's invest them in areas where there's the most opportunity, both now and the long term, um, for, for, for students. Beckner says she's concerned the program could lead to students bypassing career centers like the one that helped her. I just worry that if we do the scholarships and stuff, I feel like we're going to lose that in-classroom time that we had. But Benning says funding for career centers increased last session and that the current number of work-based program spots statewide doesn't meet demand. This is just another tool to add more capacity to the system. Benning says he does not anticipate any financial increase to this program simply because we're not in a budget year. As for this year's program, eligible students have until October 1st to apply. Reporting in the newsroom, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News.